Now closing in on the moon at nearly 25,000 miles per hour, a 14-foot lander named Odysseus from the Greek epic The Odyssey. And liftoff. Go SpaceX, go IM-1 and the Odysseus lunar lander. The launch just seven days ago on a SpaceX rocket from the Kennedy Space Center. Mach 1. With spectacular views of Earth as it broke free of Earth's gravitational pull, if the mission succeeds, it will be the first private company to land on the moon after other companies' recent attempts failed. And the lunar lander on board could be the first U.S. moon landing since the Apollo program ended more than 50 years ago. But the big challenge comes later today, landing near the moon's forbidding South Pole. There is no GPS at the moon, at least not today. So we have to carry our own navigation system on board, and you'll see the two pods on either side of the vehicle. The lander is built by Houston-based Intuitive Machines. On board, an Eagle camera that will jettison early to record the landing. Another camera will capture the Milky Way from the moon and six NASA experiments to gather new lunar data. It's preparing us for sending humans uh, to the lunar surface in advance of the Artemis missions. Future astronauts could one day tap into the ice water on the South Pole, but this mission timeline is short. Odysseus's solar power will last just 12 to 13 days. Unfortunately, once the sun goes down, it gets extremely cold at the moon, and the vehicle systems will most likely freeze, and that'll be the end of the first mission. It will not return. Hoping to cut down on costs, NASA has contracted with 14 private companies to send experiments to the moon. We're only beginning to understand the materials on the moon, and I think there's materials that are worth something not only from a science and discovery standpoint, but maybe from a consumer goods standpoint. And there's something else on board. 125 miniature moon sculptures from the artist Jeff Koons, named after historical figures and potentially the first approved artwork on the moon. Now, with just hours to go, the pressure is building to stick the landing. Tom, you mentioned the astronauts are talking about tapping into the water at the south pole of the moon. So what would that mean for future missions? Yeah, this is, the, if not the holy grail, it is the mother load. Because mm. if there is ice water at the south pole, you could use that. Presumably, you could purify it, use it as drinking water, and then use it as rocket fuel to go on to Mars. And that's a big objective. And it's not just America's objective. China is also hoping to land its astronauts on the south pole of the moon probably by the end of the decade. So it's not just NASA and also, you know, other other private companies. We've got a geostrategic implication playing out here as well. All right. Tom hey. Costello for us there. Tom, thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.